Welcome back to Trinko IT's channel. Today we're going to show you how to control and manage your Windows updates in your web console. Here we are in our webbed enterprise console and today we're going to show you how to create and deploy a webbed Windows update package. To start off, we need to make sure that our agent has been configured to take into our account our Windows updates rules. So here in tools, we will go down to build webbed agent. And at the bottom, we have options. We can manage Windows updates with WAPT, disable our Windows updates, or not to set anything. We also have the option to allow all updates by default unless forbidden by the rules, which we create. You can also schedule when to scan a CUSSC and two-point cab file directly from the Microsoft service, as well as you're allowed to choose a minimum delay before the installation of updates if you'd like to test them locally before deploying them across your park. We also recommend selecting to install the pending Windows at shutdown. That's to say that the Windows updates will be applied when the computer is shut down as to not interrupt the user during their workday. You can then save this by clicking OK, although I have already done this, so I'll just click out of it for now. Now to create our package, here we have our Windows Updates tab, and in our Windows Updates list, we have a full list of our updates from our WSUSCN 2 point cab file, which was downloaded directly from the Microsoft servers. If you would like to download this file, between your scheduled downloads, you can simply click on Download, Index, and Missing Cabs from Microsoft website. As well as when you click Show Download Task, it'll let you know which updates have been downloaded and if they were successful. Now to create our package, we head over to our web WUA Packages and click on New Windows Updates bundle. Here we can choose a name of our bundle, so I'll just call this Test2. And we have the options to choose our allowed or forbidden Windows updates. So I'll simply select a few just to demonstrate how it works. We can drag and drop or click below on allow. And the same goes for our forbidden updates. We can drag and drop as well as forbid these. Now if we would like to save this package, we can simply click on save and then we'll have our package that we just created. Although for this demonstration, I have already created a package for us called test. As we can see, it's exactly the same, just with different Windows updates that are necessary for my agent. So I have my allowed updates and my forbidden Windows updates. So now that I've created my package, I will deploy it onto my client PC back in my inventory tab. Simply double click on my client to Windows PC. And I will drag and drop my package test, which contains my web WA package rules. I'll then click on save and apply to directly deploy this package. And we can see that it is running the installation of our Web rules package test and the installation and deployment has been successful so now our web agent will take into account our new windows updates rules and there you have it simplified windows update management directly in your web enterprise console if you're interested in trying out web enterprise make sure to visit the link in our description below for a free one month trial we'll see you again soon for more videos by tranquil it